the School of Liberal Arts, Alliance University, through this festival, intends to continue reimagining the idea of the Indian University by becoming the fountain head of art and culture, and especially a vibrant literary hub. given it importance in our education system for the longest time. So I'm really impressed when universities take a lot of interest and bring these very important, uh, you know, um, courses to our younger students. Uh, and I think in that sense, I'm very impressed with Alliance University for having thought of a school for the liberal arts. There is a movement called didactism in art. There is a movement called art for art's sake. Liberal is yet another paradigm. And uh, we take it to a different dimension. We totally change the entire you know, gamut of arts. And there's a lot of interdisciplinary uh, overlap when we talk about liberal arts. So liberal arts is the hope and is the way forward. started to find that the courses to which we were exposing them through liberal arts, regardless of what profession they chose to enter into, was making a very big difference in terms of training them and preparing them for the world outside. So some people think liberal arts is, you know, just learning how to write. Uh, and writing is an essential part of our program. It's mandatory. But in addition to that, it's also exposing their minds to uh, fine arts, performing arts, to economics, to history, to uh, sociology, psychology, cultural studies, anthropology. And these are the things that help you when you go out into the world to mingle with and to understand people who come from cultures or societies or backgrounds that are different from yours. And so we really opened our students' minds and widened their horizons. And I believe that that is what liberal arts could do even in a country like India. As their teachers, we've got to teach them that they hold the power. It's a grave responsibility that they must take seriously. And that's what arts and poetry and literature does. It gives you an idea about how to feel empowered. And it connects you with other people, other families, other cultures. And you begin to understand, wow, I am part of not just this family in my home or my village, but I'm part of this human family. It doesn't just follow a formula, it asks you, you to think about why you are doing what you are doing and what are the ethical you know, and moral uh, effects of what you are doing. It's also about history, it is also about philosophy, you know? it's also about semantics, it's about language because without language you and I wouldn't be conversing. So these are fundamental to human growth and good growth and good development. On, across all these platforms, I think the 
people who are really successful are the people who understand other people. And I think that's what a liberal arts education gives you. It gives you understanding, it gives you empathy, it gives you compassion, it gives you a spread of knowledge which you don't learn but through life. But you can get introduced to this so that you can take it forward in your own time, in your, you know, explore your own passions.